Hi everybody, my name is Mirko Nozari. I'm the sales manager of Raves Machinery. Today I'm here to introduce you our mechanical capping machine dedicated to dispenser pumps and caps. Uh, first of all, I would like to let you know that actually we're, uh, even though I'm not wearing a mask, we are uh, keeping distances between me and the operator and everybody involved in this video to make sure that all the COVID uh, um, regulation is, is uh, uh, respected. As I said before, this is a mechanical capping machine, which means that we do have actually uh, a real cam, a physical cam that controls the deep tube insertion and controls all the movement of the capper. We do also have a physical cam also inside here. Um, the difference between a mechanical capping machine like this one and an electronic capping machine is basically um, the fact that um, usually a mechanical capper is more affordable and also it's usually faster than an electronic capping machine because there's no uh, computational power involved in the capping. Uh, on the other hand, uh, it, it's usually less flexible because uh, with an electronic capping machine we can describe a virtual cam and therefore we call an electronic capper future-proof, which means that any kind of cap you want to decide, you, you decide to uh, work in the future, we can do that. Um, also, with an electronic capper, we do have complete and total control of every aspect of the capping. Uh, we are 100% sure that the capping was performed uh, perfectly. With a mechanical capper, we can do so, absolutely. We just need to have more sensor uh, inside the machine to uh, make sure that the cap was correctly uh, placed. Despite the fact that this is a mechanical capper, and therefore it's likely that this machine is going to run for days and days on the same format, as you can see, this machine can work six different formats. All those formats are provided with their change parts and so even though it's not an electronic capper, the change of format is very fast and uh, we do have maximum flexibility. So from this small to this big, it's no problem at all for this machine. So let's start from the beginning and let's start where the bottles come in. This is the infit screw. We do have here the infit conveyor. And uh, as soon as we start with the, with the bottle, uh, we do already have a couple of safety features. The first one uh, is about the presence of the bottle. This is uh, what we call no bottle, no cap, which means that if there's no bottle signaled by the machine, no cap will be uh, fed to the capping section. Therefore, we will not have any problem with caps distributed and left uh, in the basement of the machine itself. We do have another uh, safety feature, which is this one. We do have here a sensor that tells us if a bottle gets jammed inside the infit screw. That would definitely damage the machine. And therefore, if we do sense, if the machine senses that there is a jam inside here in this section, the machine will go into a complete hold. So, as I said before, being this a mechanical capper, we do have the cam that controls the deep tube insertion. And this is the star which is going to get the pumps, dispenser pumps, infeed the dispenser pumps inside the bottles so that the capping section will be able to cap all those dispenser pumps. We do have here another security check, which is this one. This is the deep tube check. This check uh, allow us to understand if a deep tube is missing from the dispenser pump. And therefore, 
it will be signal to the machine that there is a problem with a bottle and the machine will definitely know which bottle is to be rejected. Before going into the details of the capping itself, I would like to show you three more features of this machine. One is a very important safety feature, which is this sensor. This will detect if there is a capping head that is not uh, completely and safely tightened. And therefore, it will signal the operator not to run the machine. Well, actually, it will be impossible to run the machine. That would be a very dangerous situation for all the people that operate around the machine itself. There are other two features that we can appreciate from here. One is the, 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 the sensor that detects the presence of the cap. So it will signal the machine that there is no cap distributed and therefore it, the bottle will be rejected. Another sensor, which is this one, will detect the height of the cap. Therefore, if the cap is, will be detected as too high, that would mean that the cap is not properly tightened. And therefore, again, the bottle will be rejected. Being a mechanical capper and having, therefore, a, a an engine that controls the infit screw, we do have here a card and joint and a gearbox. This will allow the motion to, meet, to be transmitted to the infit screw and control all the infit of the bottles. This machine is provided with quick change system, which means that all the change parts can be easily removed and attached without the use of different screws so it's fast, quick and no bolts are lost inside the machine. Since we are behind the machine I can show you another feature. This is the anti-rotation belt for round bottles. This will forbid the round bottles to spin around while the capper is uh, capping the dispenser pumps. We are again behind the machine you can see here the chocks, you can see the capping heads, and you can see the hysteresis magnetic clutch. The chocks are what we call positive chocks, which means that when a force is applied, these chocks will close, and when it's released, these chocks will open. As I said before, this is a, a mechanical capper, which means that this cap inside here will control the movement of the capping heads. Um, the torque is controlled by these hysteresis magnetic clutches. Being magnetic means that no wear will be uh, felt by those clutches. Here I would like to show you the reject system of the machine. As I said before, this machine is provided with several safety features. For example, we can understand if a bottle is not properly tightened, or if a bottle is missing the deep tube, or if a bottle is missing the, the cap itself. Therefore, uh, this machine will be uh, aware on which bottle is defective. And and then it will move it to a reject area of the conveyor belt of, in the output. It will lower these four fingers and therefore the bottle will be moved to this section to be rejected by the operator. So this machine is able to cap not only dispenser pumps but also uh, flip-top caps in this, in this case. To do so we do have uh, two different sorters. These are two mechanical sorters. One is for the dispenser pumps and one is for the regular caps. Both of them are going to provide the machine through this feeding channel. Behind the two sorters, as you can see, there is an elevator, one single elevator that is going to feed both of the two mechanical sorters. 
this elevator has a system that is going to decide which of the sorter is going to be provided with the caps. We have here the feeding channel. This feeding channel is a very peculiar feeding channel because it is actually a double belt feeding channel, which means that uh, this uh, channel is capable of giving a certain direction of the dispenser pump. Also, being a double belt feeding channel, it allows a dispenser pump to go through it. Um, to do all these, to perform all these, uh, uh, all these tasks, uh, this feeding channel has three servo motors. One controls the star. This star, the, the purpose of this star is to space the dispenser pumps from one another to give the time for the dispenser pump to rotate and be provided at a certain angle to the capping machine. The other two control the two belts of the feeding channel. And because of the fact one bell is going to run faster than the other, then the dispenser pop, pump will rotate and take a certain direction. Last but not least, I can show you another very important feature of this machine, which is the fact that all the feeding system is, uh, is managed by a motorized frame which means that whenever I will have to change the format, uh, the operator will be able to go to the uh, HMI, select a new recipe, and then what will happen is that the height of the old system will be uh, absolutely and perfectly um, leveled to the format that we're going to work. This is the head release. This is the link between the feeding channel and the capping machine itself. The main purpose of the head release is to release the different caps to the infeed star so that all the caps are distributed evenly and seamlessly to the capper. This is a very important tool and every format has its own well perfectly designed head release. Here is the HMI of the machine. Through this HMI, which is the human machine interface, the operator will be able to select any of the recipes and will be able to control all what's going on with the machine and the machine will be able to tell the operator whenever there is an issue. As you can see, this machine is provided with a stainless steel collecting tray, which means that if any leakage occurs from the product, well, everything is collected and everything goes into the uh, waste pipe. So no problems, no leakage from the machine to the floor. As always, a completely clean electric cabinet. Here you can see that everything is well tidy, is clean, and nothing is hanging around. Here we have our inverters from Schneider. Here we have our PLC from Siemens. We have all the safety and everything is Schneider. So it's a completely high shelf uh, electrical cabinet with the best of the best of the products. So thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of this wonderful machine. Please visit our website www.ravus.com. Also, if you need any information, please write us an email to info at ravus.com. Please also subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our LinkedIn page. You will find it easily. So, Thank you again. See you soon. Bye.